How are you feeling? Uh, I'm good. I'm feeling good. I'm good. It was, it was good. It was good. <laughs> she said she's had some food and water, and, I had food and water, yeah. she's good. She got a cold shower, so mm -hmm. cooled her down a little bit. Cold a shower? Was it cold shower by choice? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. It really nice. <laughs> it was really cold by choice? Yes. <laughs> what do you think is going through Branson's head right now? He's probably like, why is she taking so long? <laughs> He's probably sitting there like, you really do think that? Yeah. Where is he? Because he hasn't even started getting ready. <laughs> he probably is like, it's still. <laughs> yeah, He's thinking she, she doesn't need so all of this. Early. She's just good the way she is. I'm sure that's that. Exactly. Yeah, that's what he's thinking. That's exactly what You're he's so thinking. Right. We'll ask him. He might say otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> no, I already know. <laughs> I already know. Don't ask him. <laughs> don't, don't, don't ask do him. It. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because <laughs> she's always right. <laughs> okay, Brant. So what's going through your mind right now? Um. But there's still a lot to do, but excited at the same time. <laughs> what do you think Mara is thinking right now? Uh, probably stressing a little, a little bit, stressing herself out a little bit over the makeup and the hair. But I think that I think it's going pretty good. Like she's excited about it. But what do you think she thinks you're thinking about? That she's stressing herself out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any advice for your sister you want to tell her? <laughs> yes. I don't know, if you put me in the spot. I should have asked you while you are putting on her makeup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think things through first, doing them a little bit. Yeah. Um, you're going to go on a trip. Yeah. So I want you to not think too much about being perfect. I would fine. <laughs> Again. And when you do your makeup, if you do it. <laughs> yes. Remember the tips that I gave you just a moment ago. Thank you. You're welcome. Some families, this is a big deal being this classy. Or are you guys classy often? Um, all the time. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to give Branson a, give him some advice? Uh, I don't know. Now's a chance. I've never been married. Um, <laughs> she's right. Oh, I know that. Okay. That's all she's I have right. for you. I've never been married, so I don't know. Well, good to know. Mm hmm To know that she's always right. She must be right. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I still have to stay down here and make sure you don't go to her, so. Oh, okay. Any advice for me? Uh, How about that? Staying from school kids. That's lame. <laughs> Don't go for the passing grade. Go for the actual grade. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Branson, what are you feeling right now? Um, it's finally starting to kick in. Like, little by little. I was getting my clothes ready and everything. I was like, dang, this is actually happening. All day it's been like just working, cleaning up and everything. And now it's like actually, it's actually happening. Actually, actually happening. <laughs> Everybody keeps on saying it's actually happening, but it, it's actually happening. Friends, to be honest, did you see your bride yet? Uh, I saw like a glimpse of her. I'm like, <gasps> oh, crap, we better not. Like, it was like the corner of my eye, and so I didn't like actually see her. I just saw like her turn, and I'm like, crap, we better not look that way. So I saw a glimpse from the corner of my eye, but I didn't look. <laughs>
kids these days. What? Kids these days. Kids these days doing what? Some guy in their wedding dress. Don't do it. So on days like today, are you picturing Brant when he's a little boy, remembering all that, or? Oh man, are you just trying to make me cry, or what? <laughs> I, I have thought about like, you know, like when he was born, and just when he was like canyon, Canyon's age, and just all of those things today. And just, like going, you know, like people say their life flashes before their eyes when they die. It's like, that's like how it is today. His life, not that he's dying, but just like his life is flashing before my eyes today. <laughs> all the things, all good things, but still like, oh. how did I blink and he turned into this? How did that happen? You're welcome. So old I'm not crying. Standing in the <laughs> I'm not crying. All right. I'm not crying. You're crying. I'm crying aloud. I'm not. Stop talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay. Thanks for letting me come. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Any advice? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> we already talked about that. I see you. Yeah. Alright, Branson, now you have all the authority in the world to give advice to any viewer. What's your advice? Um, <laughs> this is your moment. That's, that's tough. Find, find the right one. Find the one that you can be yourself around. Um, that you don't have to pretend to be somebody else. There's some advice. That's <laughs> golden. All right, we're ready. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes the world a beautiful, magical place. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. Romance is fun, but true love is something far more and is their desire to love each other for life 
and that is what we are celebrating here today. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right person, it is being the right partner. So this is from Branson about Mara. I could tell about how I could tell about how Mara gets tickled by someone just saying the word tickle, or how she can out burp anyone I know. I could even told about how she majored in biochemistry, but is still sometimes surprised that ice floats. But I want to tell you the time that changed everything for me: the week of Thanksgiving. We spent the entire week before in Disneyland, but on Thanksgiving Day, we were supposed to drive back up to Mara's house so she could spend Thanksgiving with her family. As we started our drive pretty early in the morning, it started to get wet. And the further north we went, the wetter it got. About 45 minutes into the drive, the snow was so bad that we couldn't drive any further. So we got off the freeway to figure out what we wanted to do. For many, this little inconvenience wouldn't have meant much. But for me, it was a time that we both had to figure out where we were headed when life threw something unexpected at us. A lesson that we needed to work together to get over the challenges in front of us. This is just one of the curveballs life threw in our path of many and many more to come. Now for Mara. There's really not one specific story that I can think of to make fun of or embarrass Branson. He does a pretty good job on his YouTube channel. But my favorite mem memories with Branson are our long drives. That's where I began to notice him opening up to me more and more with each drive. On our first date, he was a really calm driver and had no complaints about any other car on the road. After a couple of dates, I realized the more upset he got over bad drivers, the more open and comfortable he was becoming with me. I guess it's a good thing I like our drive since we're about to live on the road now. Also for the fact that he hates singing. I, also, I always ask him to sing for me, but those are the only times he's willing to sing. Branson, do you take Mara to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her and be faithful to her? I do. Do you promise to take out the trash and pick up your clothes off the floor? <laughs> I do. And do you promise to love her even when she is cranky? I do. Mara, do you take Branson to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him and be faithful to him? Do you promise to not whine at him when he forgets to take out the trash or pick up his clothes <laughs> off the floor? I do. <laughs> and do you promise to love him after a long drive of listening to him go off about dumb drivers and his uncontrollable road rage that he has so graciously inherited through the Tanner's blood? <laughs> okay, let's, let's exchange rings. Is everybody ready? Okay. All right. By the power vested in me by the state of Utah and American Marriage Ministries, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Branson, after I step aside, you may kiss your bride. Now I introduce Mr. and Mrs. Branson Tanner. Thank you all for coming um, here and away through Zoom and other forums. <laughs> uh, we love you all and we're excited to share this moment with all of you guys. <laughs> so at dinner time we'll have an open mic. We'll the I'm not crying. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Thank 
I'm a little bit different. My hair's a little longer, but that's about. That's about if I would have shaved this, I would have looked exactly like that picture right there. That's true. <laughs> everyone just a little bit this way. Okay, one step. Oh, you can get in close with your wife. You can both take it. She loves it when you do that. <laughs> okay, ready? One, place. Clock. Fist bump. Keep kissing. Don't stop. <laughs> Do you want to explain what you're doing, Branson? So we, Appa! to make it official legally, Papi! we have to sign the marriage license. And we have one so of the wait. witnesses here. You're married, but you're not legal yet. We're not legal yet. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> We're legal Breaking now. the law. You guys just together and everything. <laughs>
we're like, we're like parents of a married kid. <laughs> oh. What is that all about? <laughs> what is that? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, how do we have a married kid? How did that happen? I don't know, it just happened. Did you guys see it? It just happened. <laughs> it just happened. <laughs> it's like, that, that just happened. <laughs> yeah. I know, what happened to that baby I was holding like this? I know, huh? We don't even have any of those anymore. Who's right here? Okay, here we are. There's our dance. Their dance and then our dance. Yeah. <laughs> Such a cute couple. <laughs> you talking third person? <laughs> that was the narrator behind the camera that said that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking right there. Look how cute they are. Branson, my first bit of advice to you as a husband, never ever miss an opportunity to kiss your wife. <laughs> Sounds good. Or to say I love you. I love you. I love you. That always comes with a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mara just officially officially took <laughs> her position in this family. It's now Mara and Branson. <laughs> How was it? <laughs> it's pretty good. One taste? <laughs> it was very good. Yeah. Mm. Wait, I think I can just lick my face. I'll make your birthday cake. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all married yet? <laughs> You guys should get married often. Same time to each other. <laughs>